What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. So you coat steel with zinc for metal roofing. You, you coat screws, fasteners, tons of things with zinc. So why not just put zinc on your metal roof as the main material? That's what we're talking about today. And to help me out, I have Josh from Metal Tech out of Georgia. Josh, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you, Thad. It's a pleasure. So Josh, tell me a little bit about zinc as a material. What is it? Um, what are the characteristics of the material? All right, so zinc is an actual element of the Earth's crust. It's uh, number 24 of most abundant uh, elements within the Earth's crust. So what manufacturers have done is core mined the zinc element and they produce the ingots out of this. They add copper and titanium for durability and weathering processes. And then they take that ingot and produce master cools. The master cools are then rolled down and shipped out to individual distributors. What about um, when it comes to metal roofing? That's what we're kind of focusing on today. You know, how has the material historically been used? And then kind of where do you see it used today in regards to metal roofing? So architectural zinc has been used mainly in Europe since the 19th century. It has definitely grown in popularity in the United States within the last 20 to 30 years. Initially, it was set up to be used as a roofing application. Now, with specific detailing and the capabilities of zinc, is being used for not only roof applications, but facades, interior applications, and rainwater goods. Yeah, so that's, that's a good point. Let's kind of jump into the pros and cons of zinc as a roofing material, and you can tell me a little bit about you know, why it's used in some of those other applications as well. Okay, so one of the biggest pros of uh, architectural zinc is the longevity and the lifespan of the system you get. Uh, architectural zinc will provide up to 100 years of a roof system when compared to other metal or shingle applications, right? A con of that is an initial upfront cost, but you get the longevity of the system with a very low maintenance plan associated. The maintenance for a zinc roof is um, just like any other standard roof. Keep your local debris off, make sure your ventilation is proper, and um, no backflows through your gutters or rainwater. So as far as you know, zinc being used as a material compared to maybe steel or aluminum or something like that, why would someone choose zinc? The sustainability of zinc is phenomenal, and it definitely hit, hits the lead requirements uh, for most projects, especially on commercial projects. Um, it has clean runoff, requires less energy to produce as compared to other metals. Uh, it gets about a quarter of a percent of the energy to produce aluminum and half of the energy to produce as of steel or copper. Some other aspects or benefits out of using zinc as a roofing or any other construction application is 100% recyclable. For unlimited amount of times, the zinc product can actually continue to be recycled and reused. Do you see zinc used more in commercial or residential applications? It's about 50-50. So with the residential applications, it's definitely a high-end uh, residential roof that you see it on. Um, on commercial, you see it more with higher educations, uh, government projects, and things like that. So it's a mixture of both. Obviously, commercial will have a larger scale on this specific project compared to residential, but there's a lot of residential roofs that are going zinc over other metals. Does it come in, you know, multiple colors? What are the finish options for zinc, depending on, you know, who you go with? All the main mills at that supply zinc, especially to the U.S., um, have three main color lines. And that's a natural mill finish and then two other pre-patinated or pre-weathering lines. In addition to that, they also supply a colored line. So you can, if you're not wanting a matte gray or a standard gray finish, you can certainly go with a blues, orange, golds, etc. Does zinc patina over the over the years? What what does it do? How does it weather? Uh, yes. So uh, here's another pro with using architectural zinc is so it's a self healing patina. So within the first two to five years, 
uh, the metal itself will form a patina on top of it. And that actually protects the integrity of the alloy. And if for any reason it scratches, blemish, etc., that patina will heal itself and continue through the longevity. Okay, that's good to know as well because, you know, if you scratch a co coated steel roof and get through the coating, it's going to rust in that area. So what about uh, installation requirements? What type of unique installation requirements does zinc have over some other roofing types? So with the insulation, it is very important to follow the guidelines to get the lifespan out of your zinc roof. Yes, you can achieve a 100-year roof, but you have to detail it properly. So with the insulation, ventilation is key. You want the system to breathe. You don't want any trapped moisture behind the panels, et cetera. You try to prevent hot roof and cold roof conditions. So with that, the proper underlayment is necessary. So um, high temp underlayment plus a, a breather mat, such as ink mat or delta mat. And what that does is raises the zinc off the main substrate and allows for proper ventilation. Another aspect is you try to avoid rivets and exposed fasteners at all costs. Cleat everything. If you can cleat it the best way possible, hands down. Uh, expansion and contraction. Uh, zinc expands and contracts about one inch for every 30 feet. So it moves. It likes to move around. So you can't pin it down and expect for the roof not to have issues. There is definitely a lot of insulation requirements that takes a more of a skilled laborer to install a zinc roof. But the benefit is, is that with all of the main distributors, there's extensive knowledge and documents to help guide in the process. In sure. addition, there's always training programs to show the proper ways to install a zinc roof. Gotcha. And I have heard about the ventilation with zinc installations. Why is that, you know, kind of more important for zinc or even that much more important than a steel or aluminum roof? To allow for the ventilation, like for instance, the ink mat, one of the biggest things is to raise it up off the substrate. So if there is any type of moisture that builds up behind those zinc panels, it flows out. Additionally, it helps keep the system as cool as possible, right? The more ventilation, the cooler your roof system is. For the zinc to actually go through the whole weathering process and actually provide the protection you need on the outside of it, you need to make sure that you provide the same protection for the backside. And this is a question that I'm sure everybody's interested in, but what about the cost of zinc? You mentioned it's going to be a larger upfront cost than some other roofing materials. Talk to me about that. So it's definitely um, a larger upfront cost as compared to most residential roof systems. For instance, painted aluminum. The zinc roof system is about 30 to 40 percent more than a painted aluminum. On the contrary, it's about 30% less than a copper roof. So it falls right in the middle line between the two. So yeah, if you're looking for a high-end roofing system that's going to last you upwards of 100 years, you know, zinc falls right in line with those options. And you mentioned skilled labor as well. I imagine that helps to drive up that cost to find somebody who's going to be able to install it properly. Most certainly, because again, you have to detail and install the zinc roofs accordingly. And that takes specific skilled laborers to do it. The benefit is, is because of the popularity zinc has gotten over the last 23 or 20 to 30 years in the States, that small group of contractors have grown as well. And so it's definitely not one where we recommend to have anybody roll form panels on site. We highly okay. recommend to have the zinc panels fabricated within a manufacturing firm that has extensive experience with it. With that, they have a full customer base of ex experienced contractors that are used to working with the zinc. So is there anything else that someone should know, you know, if I'm looking at a, a lifetime roof um, from my home or my building, what are some unique things that, that I need to know about zinc, you know, that we haven't discussed so far? On a, a uh, specification stance and detailing stance, um, highly recommend stainless steel for all your cleats and fasteners. 
um, it would definitely provide the most protection with it. You need to really pay attention to run off from other construction materials onto the zinc, for instance, copper. Even though that the zinc alloy has a little bit of copper built into it, you need to minimize at all costs a copper runoff onto the zinc. It will cer most certainly corrode zinc and cause problems. That being said, because zinc has clean runoff, it can certainly have flow from a zinc roof to a copper roof or a copper element, right? So there's definitely other metals that you need to make sure that the zinc doesn't come in contact with or other construction products. Um, again, there's extensive documentation to provide and help guide in that. So that's just one simple element to really um, pay attention to. Another one is the warranty. So most architectural metals provide a finish warranty, where zinc provides a alloy warranty. So because it is a natural metal and it is expected to form a patina, the color is not going to stay consistent, but the alloy is what the mills were actually warning. All right. Thanks, Josh. I really appreciate it. I definitely learned a lot about zinc, and uh, we'll be talking with Josh in the future as well about copper and stainless steel, so stay tuned for that. Check out Metal Tech out of Georgia. Uh, Josh, what's your website? Where can people find you? Uh, MetalTechGlobal.com. Awesome. All right, well, you heard him. Comment down below with any questions. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.